In this video, we look at the navigation of Advisor Go. So we'll start by going to the silhouette top right. So I'm already in a plan that I've selected from the home screen and we're going to go to preferences. In here, we're going to make sure inline help is set to yes. And so you know when you're presenting, you can also hide the dashboard chart from the dashboard view. But we'll keep it on when building a plan. So inline help to yes, and we'll just cross out to here. So that was that silhouette top right there that you can find in preferences. I'll show you inline help as we go. So the main navigation to different sections of the software is along the top here. Um, we'll start by looking at these one by one, working from left to right. Let's start then in dashboard. So dashboard is the fact finding and overview area of the software. Everything that you've added into the plan will be shown here in this overview page. And you can add anything new into the plan via this plus button here. Use inline help as you go. So let's look at, for example, adding an employment. If you see the dotted green underline on a word, click on it and you may be able to watch a video or look at a guide on the inline help to help you enter it. You can also use the help tab to point you to other guides and videos on our YouTube channel, or you can contact support at any time. Let's go back now then and move it from the left to the right and look at timeline. So timeline is the framework for the plan. This is when everything is happening in the future years of the plan. You can add and edit these events and the stages, and you'll use these when you're building up the plan in the dashboard view. All the charts are found in Let's See, and you can look at different charts in terms of just the chart for the plan you're in. So top right, I'm in the base plan, and this is the chart shown for this. You can look at two charts for the same plan. So dual chart is for the base plan. Here's the cash flow chart at the top and the assets chart at the bottom. And you can turn on the details. And then you've got compare plans chart view. And this will be the base plan cash flow chart at the top and a what if cash flow chart at the bottom. All the chart navigation is the top right of the chart here. So we can change to whether the details are on. We can put the legend on. We can zoom in to certain stages by clicking on the stage here or pulling it back out to the whole of the plan. And you can hide and bring things in one at a time to help explain them. You can go between different chart types and you can use the details of the chart to see, for example, the different types of taxes projected in the plan. And in the three dots, you can toggle on and off real money to see it in today's terms. If you click on year view, that takes you to the detail behind each year of the chart. So it's in year view that you can check the plan is set up how you'd like, and you can look for each year. If I just toggle this way, you can look at the cash flow money in or money used in that year, expenses, money required, and end of year projections for investments, pensions, property, and so on. Because I'm in Let's See Compare Plans chart view, I can toggle between two plans here to see the details. This also works on touchscreen. You can swipe up or down to show the details and swipe left and right to go to the different chart types. In the Legacy tab, this is showing the projected IHT at the end of the plan. And again, you can do a comparison view to a different plan. The insights are great for quick what ifs and as conversation starters. 
you can model them to stress test the plan in a certain way or give an indication of savings needed to eliminate the red in the plan. Create a copy of the base plan by going to what if and in doing this it will mean that you've copied the plan and are able to make changes in that plan without affecting your base plan. Any changes in your base plan will feed through to all your what ifs but once you've created a what if anything we do in here is entirely in this what if scenario and doesn't affect the main plan. Finally, use reports to build up the reports of each of the plans that you'd like. So for example, we could select the base plan and tick which reports you'd like to see in it. Scroll down, add to report, then select a what if. Tick the reports you'd like to put in it, add to report. There is a report set feature and this will give a report set for the plan that you're in. You can tell what which reports for which plan. On the right hand side here it says base plan financial summary and demo financial summary. Look out for the cog because in here it means you can customize and you can select a different chart type and deselect certain insights and goals if they're not relevant for the plan report. Scroll down to generate report and you'll see it landing in your internet browser and your downloads or in up here in top right view recent reports. Moving along to the right here, if you click on the plan name, this is where you get to the plan management. This is where you can change the plan name, delete what if scenarios and update and promote a plan to move it from say 2021 to 22 as the first year. If you need any support while you're working on a particular plan, click on the plan name and request support or if it's a general question please email us at support at planwithvoyant.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for listening. <laughs>